hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm delphine and this is the nobias platform and in today's video i'm going to be talking about five takedown mistakes that are probably damaging your hair or causing it not to grow as you want it to or slowing down you know your hair growth you know because of damage and stuff like that so guys these five things i'm going to be telling you it's really i feel like it's really important when it comes to natural hair journey because guys ever since i started doing them I mean I've had I've seen a lot and a lot of improvement when it comes to my hair growth and also my hair density like my hair is a lot thicker and you know like I have a lot of hair right now I mean it wasn't like that before but it this has really helped me guys and when I talk of take down mistakes I'm talking like when we are taking down uh, your, the protective styles I'm talking of braids I'm talking of cornrows Ghana braids you know all those protective styles we do on daily basis you know they are really good okay it's good to protect your hair or do certain styles that protect your hair but at the same time if you're not careful especially when you're taking those hairstyles down they can damage your hair and they can rather slow down your growth so i'm going to be giving you those five things that you need to stop doing if you want to avoid losing your hair more than you're retaining it okay so with that said let's get started and guys just don't worry about my hair okay i know it looks crazy and i left it this way on purpose just so i could like actually demonstrate or show you what i'll be talking about okay so the reason why it's looking like this is because i had some mini twists on and i actually took down like almost all of it off camera just because i didn't want to take a lot of time here showing you stuff so but i left just a couple of them i think about three or four just to use it to demonstrate you know what i'll be talking about because you know a lot of people always say sin is believing okay guys so let's get started enough of the talking let's get into the points so guys mistake number one is taking down your hair dry like taking down your hair be it braids be it ghana braids cornrows whatever protective style you have on whenever you take down your hair while it's dry okay it, it, it damages your hair it, it causes your hair to break i'm going to show you two things here guys so this is the one i left out like a set Oof, this is crazy and guys my hair is dirty though. i mean i'm just taking it down i haven't like washed it or anything like that so I hope you understand okay so guys please let's focus on the ideas okay the information and not on the hair <laughs> so guys mistake number one like I already said is taking down your hair dry I'm just using mine as an example to like you know to cover up all those different stuff so guys this is my twist okay and right now it's dry like my hair is dry like i haven't done anything i haven't put any water nothing on it and i'm going to try to take one down i'm just going to try to take this one down while it's dry guys so as you can see i mean it's been on for about four weeks or so and so as you can see guys it's really dry and you know just taking it down like this I mean it hurts just taking it down while it's dry first is that it hurts like you can I can feel the pressure on my scalp so even with braids sometimes we feel like you know it doesn't matter but it does guys I'm going to tell you that it does okay guys as you can see my hair is already pulling out like it's literally pulling out because I have fine textured hair okay guys and that is like one of the main reasons why you have to do this especially if you have fine textured hair or high porosity hair okay this is going to really help you out guys just taking it down dry it really hurts it's hurting my scalp and so it's taking me a lot more time because i have to be very careful you know i'm trying to not like pull it a lot because it hurts and again guys see my hair is literally pulling out like i'm losing my strands you know because i'm struggling like it's a struggle when i'm taking it guys look at that i don't know if you can see but you see how my hair is pulling out see 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 how many strands i'm losing just by trying to take it down you know while it's dry just like that see 
like guys look just doing this alone it's pulling out my hair it's i'm losing a lot of strands you know just doing that okay and it hurts like i said but now i'm going to do one more with water so guys this time around i'm going to like spray the other one with lukewarm water and if you have like your detangler or you know uh, the leave-in conditioner mist that is like liquid it's good to use but if you don't you can use lukewarm water just lukewarm water it's okay or water just water alone like just to get your hair wet or moisturized before taking it down guys it reduces the tension it reduces the rate at which your strands you know are under pressure and stuff like that and by the time you take them down you're going to see a huge difference so guys this time around i'm going to like spray my hair with lukewarm water guys just the water alone is refreshing Oof. <laughs> So I'm just like spraying my hair. Okay, so guys, look, like just spraying the water already took it down. Like I basically didn't do nothing. Okay, so just the water alone. My hair feels soft right now. You know, it's not like it's any living or anything like that. Just water. So my hair feels soft. And guys, look at that. Like taking it down is a lot easier for me. And guys, I feel less tension so guys look at that like look at that guys look at that that was so easy like that was way easier than the first time that or than the first one i took down without any water okay guys and it wasn't hurting i didn't feel no pain at all no pressure and again my hair basically did not come off or anything there's no hair you can literally see nothing guys see so that's reason number one guys stop taking down your hair when it's dry okay just try get it wet even with just lukewarm water and if you have like braids i know with braids with organa uh, braids and all those other protective styles we normally have um extensions on them so you can just cut off the part that doesn't like doesn't contain your hair and then from the part that starts with your hair or includes your hair you can just like put the water spray the water all over it and then before you take it down it's going to help you a lot to retain your length so guys that's point number one now let's go to point number two point number two is not detangling or finger detangling your hair while taking it down okay like usually when we have those hairstyles you know especially if we have them for a long time like a month two months and sometimes three months some people keep their protective styles in for so long so guys when taking down that hair just imagine you've had braids on for like three months or two months and then you you know you have a lot of build up sometimes you see those build ups like right here and then your hair is already like really tangled up and stuff guys and then so most often we just like after taking out the extension we just go in with the comb no like it's going to break your hair more than you want it to okay so the first thing you want to do after taking out the extension or even if you don't have extension like this mini twist i have I had on guys is go in with your fingers okay using your fingers helps you to feel the knots you know it makes it easier for you to be able to identify the areas where you have knots like this for instance the water just made it a lot easier so guys just imagine this is my mini twist okay and let's say I just let me just take it down one one time this is it guys like after taking it as you can see for instance like this one even though i've taken it down guys you know it's still like tangled up together so what do i do do i just take my comb and then just try to comb it out and stuff no like it's going to break my hair i'm going to lose a lot of strands if i try to do it that way so what i'm going to do is use my fingers first to figure out where the knots are you know like finger detangle this is what we, we we refer to finger detangle as you can see so i first of all use my fingers to like finger detangle you know separate the hair take out all the knots with my fingers take out all the knots with my fingers like that so this is 
a lot easier and like I can feel the knots with my fingers and it's easier for me to like detangle with my fingers so a lot of people don't do that like once the extension or whatever once we take it down we just leave it like that and then we try to go in with a comb to do the detangling and at the end of the day you end up having a bunch of hair okay that you know that you've loose or that you've pulled out of your hair which you could avoid okay guys just doing that with my finger finger detangling just doing that alone has helped me not to lose a lot of my strands by so doing my hair density is being retained and also my hair a length so guys that really helps so you need to start finger detangling as often as you can whenever you're taking down your uh, protective styles if you're not doing that yet that is really going to help you with length with tension and also density so that's point number two and point number three is using tiny combs guys tiny combs like this one when you're taking down protective styles and some people even use this part especially when it comes to braids or Ghana braids you know we just consider oh because it's a small comb it doesn't really matter guys it matters a lot okay it matters a lot i already took down like all of it i would have shown you but guys just imagine me going in with my comb you know just doing this alone like that see it tangles the hair up you know and you know it's going to i'm going to try to cut it's like you're trying to comb your hair out with a tiny comb look at that it's already breaking my hair with just an attempt so just imagine doing that okay it breaks your hair it break even if it doesn't matter if your hair is short or long it breaks your hair so what you need to do is guys avoid using tiny combs when taking down your hair i mean if it's like really tiny braids or you know if you have to use it why not do some use something like this like this part it doesn't dry up the hair it doesn't take away moisture from it this part like that this is going to be a lot easier and guys it's not going to break your hair in any way it's not going to uh make you lose strands of your hair so instead of using this part why not use this part or something similar or something tiny or even a stick or a toothpick i mean something that is just going to you know do exactly what you want it to do and not like damage your hair instance so that's point number three mistake number three is using tiny combs even combing out your hair you know like some people try to comb out their hair or detangle their hair using tiny combs like this it's just not okay okay when it comes to natural hair remember you're trying to do everything possible to not lose your hair strands or uh, to avoid breakage so going in with tiny combs like this it doesn't help okay guys it rather promotes hair breakage rather than helping you retain length so what do you do go in with combs like this guys okay like for instance, if I'm using this comb, if I were to use this comb to detangle my hair, as you can see guys, like even though I'm starting with the tip, you know, it's still going to be a lot difficult and I'm going to lose a lot more strands. See how I'm struggling? It's a really big struggle when you use tiny combs to comb out your hair. But if I were to go in with something like this, look at that, like that is a lot easier and guys, I don't, it doesn't, I don't lose no hair like so by by so doing i'm going to retain a lot more length than i lose so guys that's point number three avoid using tiny combs and point number four avoid trying to comb out your hair or detangle your hair in bulk okay you know sometimes when we are in a rush or in a hurry we just take down like immediately after taking down your protective style or the whatever style you had on you just want to you know you just try to go in with your comb even when your hair is dry which is really bad especially when your hair is dry like that's the worst thing to do on your hair when it's dry you know trying to detangle it in bulk always try to separate your your hair like walk your hair in sections it's really important okay because that is one of the takedown mistakes that we do that really damages our hair or slows down the growth you know makes us to lose a lot more hair than we retain so guys avoid doing that okay always try to walk your hair in sections walking your hair in sections is really great it's really helpful and it eases the work it makes it a lot easier than you think okay whenever you go in and try to do this 
junk you know stuff like that it only breaks your hair and again it hurts so work your hair in sections you're going to tell me okay try that and you will thank me later so guys point number five which is my last point is for you to be patient okay i know it's hard especially when we don't have time or when we are like trying to get busy you, you want to go to a salon to do your hair and you just haven't taken it down yet and then you just go in and then bop, 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 like rush it out and stuff like that we need to try to be patient especially styles like this you okay um mini twists braids ghana braids with extensions you know corn rolls when we have crochets and stuff like that when taking them down you want to be patient and patient comes in with finger detangling patient comes in with you know wet try to wet your hair patient comes in like all those things you need to have patience okay at least if not for yourself for your hair okay if you don't trust yourself trust your hair okay at least do it for the sake of your hair because you want it to grow you want to retain more length you want to retain and more density okay guys so that's it about today so in summary what i've talked about is not taking down your hair when it's dry not combing your hair out when it's dry and also trying to walk your hair out in sections always trying to finger detangle when taking down protective styles and not using tiny combs okay guys small combs always try to use white tooth combs uh whenever you're detangling your hair or whenever you're taking it down and avoid using the actual like the actual comb itself when taking down braids rather use the tip or stuff like toothpicks for instance so guys that's it about this video i okay i'm going to be carrying my crazy hair to the shower at this point 